Is basic autopilot worth $2,000? Let's find out. Guys, as always, let's try and hit 100 likes. And if you haven't already, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs and uh, you guys are the best. I appreciate it. And secondly, a massive shout out to Haida and Daniel for using the referral link. I really, really do appreciate it. It's absolutely blowing my mind. And congratulations to both of you on your brand new car. So the price of full self-driving is set to rise by $1,000 on July the 1st. Currently in the United States, full self-driving will cost you $7,000. So this will take it to eight thousand dollars on july the first in the uk to upgrade today that would be five thousand eight hundred pounds so expect that to be around the six and a half thousand pound mark after july the first for me this was incentive enough to purchase full self-driving that's what i was going to do i was going to purchase full self-driving uh, one of the main reasons for that is so i could show you guys the process of doing that and uh, thought it'd be interesting content and also, I really wanted to put full self-driving through its paces in the UK. Unfortunately for me, as a lot of you guys are aware, my car is at the service center and I've done an ultimatum that if it's not repaired to a standard I want, then I'm going to be returning the car. So purchasing full self-driving at the moment is not possible. If I receive the car back before July the 1st in a perfect state of condition and all the th problems and issues are fixed, then I will purchase full self-driving and I'll do the video series with you guys and I'll go for it all. If you want to see what's wrong with my car, go watch some of my last videos. Lord, uh, have some fun with them. So what has all this got to do with standard autopilot? What has this price increase got to do with standard autopilot? Okay, so on Twitter, and it always starts on Twitter with Tesla. On Twitter, Zach, who is at Black Model 3, he says to Elon, he tweets Elon and says this, it's hard to spend 7K, is there an option for standard autopilot? Question mark. Elon replies with this, we'll follow up tomorrow, okay? A few hours later, Elon replies again, done. Now 2K in the app. <laughs> This is what I love about Tesla. This is this is what is so different to any other car company. Where would that happen? Tell me a car company where that happens. Never. Anyway, Elon confirmed it again later on, saying this on Twitter. He put, this is available in-app purchase until July the 1st. So this $2,000 standard autopilot purchase is only available until July the 1st, similarly to the um, cheaper price, the $7,000 price. So it will not be available after July the 1st. So this begs the question, is standard autopilot worth $2,000. So I would show you in the app the ability to purchase it. Like you can purchase heated seats, you can purchase full self-driving. I would show you. But in the UK, most people who have bought, bought a Model 3, it comes as standard with the standard autopilot. It just comes free with the car. So I can't show you because I already have standard autopilot, which is why I can show you and tell you is standard autopilot great or is it good or is it worth it? So today I'm going to share my thoughts on whether it is worth it or not. I have driven a new Model X, newer Model X uh, with full self-driving. I've driven an old Model X with full self-driving. I've driven an old Model S um, with full self-driving. So I have, I've had, and, and then I'm, I daily drive my Model 3 with standard autopilot. So have a good understanding of all of the systems available and, and experiences with all the systems. So they have full self-driving. Those vehicles have features like navigate on autopilot, summon, auto park, um, lane change, and a few more little features as well. And if you want to see a side-by-side -side comparison of full self-driving versus autopilot, on the exact same road, I've done a side-by-side -side comparison in a few of my older videos. I compare them and I talk about this subject quite a bit in some of my older videos. So go check them out as well if you're interested. Anyway, go check them out if you want to see sort of side-by-side. -side. So what does basic autopilot get you? Well, it gets you everything that standard autopilot does except a few of these features. And these are the features currently that you don't get. You don't get navigate on autopilot. You don't get lane change. You don't get auto park. You don't get summon. In the US, this now extends to you won't get stopping at red lights with standard autopilot. You don't get that. 
And coming soon, in very soon, is you don't get um, start at green lights. Also in the US, it stops at stop signs. So you don't get them with the standard autopilot. This is also due to change drastically over the next few years, in, in months, in fact. Full self-driving will create a huge gap be, between what is capable of doing versus what autopilot is capable of doing. Right now, as it stands, there is not that much difference. And that's experience in both, especially in the UK, experience in both. There's not that much difference. And I'm going to go into that. But like I said, over time, full self-driving should look drastically different from autopilot. Standard autopilot should stay pretty much the same as what it is right now. Full self-driving should grow into a different kind of beast to the point where we are falling asleep and waking up in Barcelona. That is the goal. Everybody out there, I want to fall asleep and wake up in Barcelona. Anyway, but currently, currently, how much different are they? Not that much at all. In fact, at $2,000, Autopilot is an absolute bargain. Honestly, it's an absolute bargain. Genuinely, if full self-driving was not to improve from what it is right now, it had no promise of improving from what it is right now, you would be stupid not to pick autopilot, standard autopilot for $2,000 versus full self-driving for $7,000. The value of their features as it stands right now, autopilot absolutely wipes the floor clean with full self-driving. Honestly, the, the features that full self-driving has for $5,000 extras are not worth it. Um, but that's not what full self-driving is. Full self-driving is the promise of what's to come. The uh, This is just the entree. We're waiting for the main course. So basic autopilot is amazing. Two taps of the stalk when you're on a road and it goes into autopilot and you just let the car do its thing, I guess. You just let the car do its thing. It is as as good, as good as full self-driving at navigating roads, at going around corner like bends, for staying in the center of the lane. It's as good. They run on the same system. They're just it's just as good as each other. But it's a feature different. It's the features that are different. So full self-driving has different features currently. So let's break them down. Lane change. For me, this was something that I didn't actually enjoy in full self-driving. So the car and full self-driving, when on navigating autopilot, will auto lane change for you. But it, it requires a confirmation from the stock. It requires a confirmation from the indicator. For me, it's easier to turn the wheel. You can also change lanes by just using the indicator but again, for me, it was easier to turn the wheel. So on this one, autopilot, it won it for me. It's not like, it wasn't like it was better. It's just, just as good. It didn't, the, the benefit of the feature didn't benefit me that much. It wasn't that great. Now, when it's a full self-driving package, that's going to be completely different. When the car can make its own decisions and it doesn't need confirmation and stuff like that. Full self-driving is going to win hands down, but as it stands right now, that doesn't make a difference to me. Autopilot, you're still good if you've purchased autopilot. Parking, auto parking. For me, it's again, it's not a winner for me. I, I, I don't need it. Um, it's not worth $5,000 and I'm okay without it. So again, at $2,000, autopilot, basic autopilot, you're still winning. Just park your car yourself, you lazy. No, I'm only kidding, but you're still winning. You're still doing good. Summon. Summon is great. It's an amazing feature. It's It's I would still say um, gimmicky in some ways, but um, if you have a tight garage or if you're using car parts regularly, summon is actually very useful. It's very useful for backing out of spaces and tight spaces. Very, very useful. For me, I don't have a tight garage. I don't park in car parks very often. So again, for me, for me, autopilot, basic autopilot, again, is a winner. $5,000 cheaper, still a winner. Stopping at red lights and stop signs. Again, great feature, great feature. And all of these things are emerging in to create a package of full self-driving. It's a great feature. But with that being said, 60 to 70% of the times that you come to a stop on a road, there's a car in front of you. Can we agree on that? We can agree on that. There's a car in front of you. So basic autopilot would have stopped anyway. It's only when there is a car not in front of you that you require full self-driving to stop the car at the red lights. So most of the time, if as long as there's a car in front of you, most of the time, full self-driving and autopilot are going to work in the same way. So autopilot, basic autopilot, again, for me, on this occasion, the red light feature just right now and the stop sign feature just right now is still not valid argument. And basic autopilot, 
still doing your job, still do, you're still winning at $5,000 less, you're still winning. And new features that are gonna be released. So we've got a new feature coming soon where it will um, go on green lights. So it'll stop on a red light and it'll go on a green light. Again, amazing, amazing feature. But if there was a car in front of you, invalidates it. You don't need it if there's a car in front of you. Basic autopilot will take off with the flow of traffic, the same as full self-driving was. It's only if you're the front of that queue that full self-driving would have benefited you. So again, basic autopilot, you would have been fine. $5,000 cheaper, you're still winning. So I noticed zero difference in confidence on the road in terms of the car. The car's just as confident, just as safe, has no problem. They're both the same systems. They're running off the same things. They're just different features. I reiterate in this, but yeah, they're just different features, have different features. It's exactly the same. So don't worry about like, oh, is, is the full self-driving more confident at going around a bend or is it... Is it better at this or is it is, is it more safe? They're, they're both the same. They're both the same. Just different features. Right now, those features, in my opinion, don't outweigh for five thousand dollars. They will. So you need to make a decision. If you're gonna purchase full, if you if you're never gonna purchase full self driving, but you want a driving aid, you want something that's gonna benefit you whilst you're driving on long roads, buy standard autopilot. You don't need full self driving. You don't need it. Um, if you're considering that you might buy full self-driving in the future, maybe it's better to pull the trigger now. But if you're just looking for that driving aid and you don't need all the features, basic autopilot is that amazing. Honestly, it is that good. Why do I love it? Why do I love it? So 100 to 200 mile journey. If I want a 100 to 200 mile journey or, or maybe even 50 to 60 mile journey, we can all agree that when you arrive at a destination after doing a long journey, we all know how it feels. When you get to that destination, you feel a bit fatigued. Mentally, you feel a bit fatigued. You, you feel tired. You've got heavy eyes and you a little bit of maybe a headache in the front of your head. You know what I'm talking about if you do those drives. Since having autopilot, I don't have that anymore. And being objective and... Um, being a bit critical even, I would say I arrive 60 to 70% less fatigued. Honestly, less fatigued. I we, we did these tests, so you can see one of the videos in the background. We did these tests and I think it was around 95% of the journey was done on autopilot. The reason this is so amazing isn't for the fact that you can just sit back and relax, but it gives you a peace of mind. It gives you a peace of mind that you're safe. It gives you a peace of mind that your family who are in the car are also safe. It gives you a peace of mind that you're not just going to randomly crash the car. All of these things give you peace of mind, which if you ask me, is worth a lot more than $2,000. A lot more. I'm just saying, if you are thinking about this, pull the trigger. Honestly, $2,000 is nothing for autopilot um so yeah they're the decisions you need to make you need to think about if you're going to purchase full self-driving in the future maybe you should consider getting it now i don't think they're going to offer discount just because you've got autopilot i don't think that's going to be a case there was previous mention of that it doesn't look like it's going to be the case it's not the case for me i don't get a discount on full self-driving because i've got standard autopilot already so i don't think they're going to introduce that in the future who knows we might hear different here's a here's here's a big thing all of this is due to change in the future. Full self-driving is going to continually get better. It's going to continually get more features. Autopilot, standard autopilot, is going to pretty much stay the same. I think they'll do a few features. Maybe they'll say that you can do um, advanced autopilot for an extra thousand dollars and stuff like that, which they used to do, which include lane changing and navigating autopilot, which might be interesting, but it's not going to be full self-driving. It's not going to be the car that you can go out into your car and set a destination, sit back and relax and watch a movie. Uh, an autopilot car is never going to be that. Full self-driving car is promised to be that. And I think it could reach there. Um, autopilot car is not going to go out and do your grocery shopping whilst you sit at home. Full self-driving car is supposedly supposed to end up at that point. So you can have a driverless car. You can sit in the back whilst the car drives you. The autopilot car is never supposed to be that. It's never supposed to end up there. If you were considering full self-driving for some of the features like driving on the uh, motorway and stuff like that and on the highways and you wanted a bit of relaxation, you were considering it, but the price was a bit too steep. Buy autopilot, buy standard autopilot. It is worth it. I promise you it is really that great. Go check out some of my old videos just so you can see the comparison and some of the arguments I make for autopilot versus full self-driving. Guys, as always, this is just my opinion. And I just want to say, I'm not, I'm not crapping all over full self-driving. 
full self-driving in the future is going to just wipe the floor with autopilot. It's going to be a different game. But as it stands right now, they are very close in a lot of ways. And the price difference, if you're never considering getting full self-driving, is worth it to do that standard autopilot. I just want to also state I will be buying full self-driving in the future. Again, I'm hoping to buy it for my Model 3 right now. But until I know what's going to happen with the car, I don't want to do it. So I might be paying a little bit extra for it. I'll still do a video series of it if I do. Anyway, guys, I'll wrap that up there. Just want to shout out Lewis, Michael, Marcel, Andrew, Daniel, and Haider. Wow, that is getting crazy. They all used a referral link to buy a Tesla. If you're thinking about buying a Tesla, there's a link in the description. A thousand free supercharging miles for you. A thousand free supercharging miles for me. It helps support the channel. And I do really appreciate it. And it's basically what this whole channel is about. It's trying to sort of spread the advancement in my own little way to people using EVs. Thanks for watching. As always, guys, you have been wonderful. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.